Hey guys, um, it's time for the, the doctrine talk this week. The doctrine this week is sin is character and universality. Um, sin is any lack of conformity to the will of God. It is an outrage against God and a source of untold harm to ourselves and to others. It subjects us to the wrath of God and it has eternal consequences. The Bible teaches us that all are sinners and sin has so pervaded human nature that there is no one righteous, not even one, and there is no one who understands, no one who seeks God. That is, it has affected our moral, intellectual, and volitional capabilities so that we all fall short of God's standards. Um, we fail to understand the gospel even when it is explained, and we flee from God rather than trying to seek Him out as we should. Um, when we understand the character and universality of sin, then we can understand the necessity for and uh, um, we appreciate grace that much more. This week's lesson showed us that Jesus exposed the hypocrisy of the Pharisees and the teachers of the law, who ignored the sin that ruled their hearts while focusing closely on the external religious rituals that they practiced. Um, sin is any word, thought, or action that does not meet the holy standards of God. Since humanity fell into sin with Adam, last, um, last year's lessons, all people are wrecked by sin and without a natural inclination to seek or please God. Sin leads people to live for themselves. Um, by nature, we are all rebels against God. Sin so fills people's hearts that without the work of the Holy Spirit to convict and deliver us, we would not understand the gospel. We would only resist God, not flee to Him. Um, the depth of man's depravity and the pervasiveness of sin makes God's grace in Christ's sacrifice even more precious to us. So, when I or you do not believe in the seriousness of sin, we excuse our mistakes and all of our weaknesses, but fail to see the root of our um, wrong thoughts and our actions. Without knowing the sinful desires that permeate our inner being, we do not realize we need a Savior. We live for ourselves, and we believe we answer only to ourselves. But when we believe that we have sinned and offended the Holy God, we realize that we need a savior and that we cannot save ourselves. Um, the blessedness of forgiveness and deliverance from the sin that entangles us is worth more than any pleasure sin affords. We welcome the Holy Spirit's ongoing work to expose our sin and to bring us to repentance. I trust God, you trust God, to deliver us from slavery to sin whenever we acknowledge that we have sin. Um, so how does this apply to our leadership? Um, sin is deeply embedded into humanity, society, and every human heart. So, does the evil in people's hearts and society's brokenness discourage you? The pervasiveness or the penetration of sin that's rooted in the heart of every individual provides an explanation for the evil we see around us. So, how does acknowledging the source of the problem lead you to Christ? The only solution to the problem of sin. Also, it is easier to focus on the external manifestations of sin rather than that inter internal root of sin. This is not just society's problem. It is also our own. Even as believers, we still struggle with sin that emerges from our own hearts. Even when we deal with our sinful words and actions, we can fail to dig deeper and examine sinful appetites, motives, and desires lurking within us. What fear, what unbelief, what self-will or pride is behind your sinful actions and thoughts. Lastly, God lovingly exposes our sins so that we can repent, find forgiveness, and rely on His power to overcome sin. God does not expose our sin um, to shame us, but it's there to deliver us. He reveals specific sin, not just our general sinfulness. So how does daily life and interaction with God's word activate God's purifying work in your sinful heart? Do you welcome the Holy Spirit's cleansing work to expose your sin and lead you to cross for forgiveness and deliverance? God loves sinners, all sinners. Um, Jesus died to set us free from the sin that holds human hearts captive. He made his way so we can enjoy unhindered fellowship with God. See you tomorrow night.